Hello, everyone. Welcome to your feel good flow. Today is going to be a practice where we are going to flow, we're going to connect with the breath, we're going to stretch the body, and also work a little bit more on cultivating that power from within. So if you guys are ready, you won't need any equipment, just yourself and your mat. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's begin today actually standing at the very top of your mat. And what I want you to do is bring your feet together. We're going to take a mountain pose. Mountain pose is a beautiful way to really just re-energize ourselves and find that grounding, find that strength, connecting to the roots through the body here to our feet. So open the palms of your hands and let us close the eyes. Just take a couple of deep breaths here. Before we begin to move, before we begin to flow, let's just connect to our intention. What brought us here today on the mat? Connect to our energy within, feeling this energy within our body, moving through the feet into the earth. That same energy moving through the feet upward towards the crown of our head. So really feeling this wonderful balance within us. Take another deep breath in, slowly opening the eyes, exhale, drop the shoulders down away from the ears. On your next breath, inhale, big reach with both arms up towards the sky, lengthening through the body. And as you exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, and just diving yourself all the way down into that standing forward fold. Good. Keeping your knees slightly bent here just to start off. Let us start to move your knees by bending one knee at a time and extending the opposite knee. So you're really feeling this nice, deep stretch through the hamstrings. And always in our feel-good flows, I encourage you guys to move as much as you need. So moving the body, moving the shoulders, maybe moving the head, whatever feels good for you. Great. And then once you've done a couple of these bending the knee exercises, bring both knees to an extended position. Inhale, come on up to about halfway point, lengthening through the spine. And then exhale, you're going to bring the palms down, bend your knees and step back into plank. Holding this plank position, Pull the navel into the spine. Now you're going to come down into a chaturanga, but just hover. You can modify by coming down to your knees as well. So you're going to come down like a push-up with your triceps. Bring yourself back up into plank position. And then from here, you're going to take your knees slightly bend and hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bring the hands back down. Same thing. This time, if you want to make it a little more challenging, hop right into plank. Hold it there, bend the knees to modify, take your push-up, bring it back up into plank, and bend the knees, hop forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, we're going to do that two more times, this is just to get your body warmed up. Hold that plank, take your push-up, bring it back up, bend your knees, hop forward. Awesome, guys, one more time. Inhale, halfway Exhale, down, step or hop back into plank. Modify by dropping the knees or stay in full plank position. Come back up, bend your knees, hop forward. Now let's do the full flow. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, ground the hands, bend your knees, hop or step back. Then from here, Chaturanga Dandasana all the way. Release the toes, inhale, opening upward, facing dog. Exhale, push back, releasing into your downward facing dog. Awesome. Take a big exhale here. You're probably starting to feel the body temperature rising. That's the whole point here. Just getting ourselves ready to flow, to go deep. Allow the heels to go a little bit further down if you can. 
Slowly from here, round vertebra by vertebra, coming into plank position, nice and slow. Lead with the chest backwards towards downward dog. Making wave-like motions with the spine, come through into plank. Just a slight tilt of the pelvis. Lead with the hips all the way back for two. Round it through. And three. Make this fluid. Make this feel like an ocean wave with your body. Great. Inhale, rounding through. Let's take another chaturanga or knees, chest, chin if you're modifying. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Well done. Just taking two breaths here. Spread those fingers wide. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and then hug your armpits around the, the, the sides of the mat or visualize as if you're doing it. It's going to involve your elbows to be pointed downward towards the floor. Another inhale. On your next exhalation, step your left foot towards the front of your mat. Ground the back heel. Arms reach up. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Right elbow comes underneath your left as you interlace here into your eagle arms. Coming down a little bit lower into your warrior one position. Let's just flow with the body. Inhale, drop the elbows. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, drop the elbows. Exhale, lift up for two. Connect your movement and breath. Inhale, down. Exhale, three. Inhale, down. Exhale, four. Beautiful. Releasing the hands as you pivot the body. Opening into your warrior two. Pull the navel into the spine. Tuck that tailbone under. Open the left palm of your hand. Bring it down into peaceful warrior and again, let's make it super flowy and connecting the breath and movement. Bring the elbow to your left knee as you take your extended side angle. Again, inhale, peaceful warrior. Good. Now exhale if you want to go even deeper. Just take your left hand to the front of your left foot, coming into your extended side angle, but a little bit deeper. If you want to keep your elbow on the knee, it's also another variation you can do. Beautiful. Awesome, guys. Just take one more breath. Now exhale. That top arm is just going to come down towards the mat. Lift the back heel. Pivot on the toe so you're uh, bringing your hips back into a high lunge position. And then take that left arm and reach it up towards the sky into your twisted high lunge here. Let's just add movement with that top arm. From here, you're going to bring it all the way back and around. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, follow the arm for two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale for three. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale for four. Inhale, reach forward and up towards the sky. Exhale, drop that back knee. Left arm comes down. Extend the front knee into your half split and just release your body. Now, we're not going to move here, but we're going to move with the breath, meaning we're going to really connect deeper by bringing more and more oxygen into the body. And when you exhale, just think about bringing your chest closer towards that thigh. Inhale. And exhale. Just really feel that release in the front hamstring. Think about pulling that front hip back, pushing the back hip forward. Okay, one more breath in. Exhale, transition yourself forward by bending the front knee. Lift the back knee off the mat. Inhale, high lunge, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, release the toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. Go even deeper. Connect with that intention that you set in the beginning of a practice. Connect with your breath. Connect with your presence here. One more inhale. On your next exhalation, step your right leg to the front of your mat. 
Ground the back heel. Reach both arms up. Fear of Adrasana one. Warrior one. Beautiful. This time, left elbow underneath your right. And see if you can interlace your wrist as well, creating this eagle pose with your arms. If you can't interlace your wrist, you can always just keep it open. From here, let's add that movement. Inhale. Drop those elbows right down as far to the ground as they can go. And then exhale. Lift and open the chest for one. Inhale down. Exhale, lift and open for two. Inhale down. Exhale, open three. Move the body. Breathe deeply. Exhale, bring it up for four. One, wonderful. Hold it there. Release the elbows as you open and turn your body, coming into your warrior two position. Now hold it here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Open up that front, front palm of your hand and then release into your peaceful warrior, really breathing into that side of the body here. Exhale, come back down. Now the right elbow onto the knee, left arm reaches up, extended side angle, creating this beautiful straight line from the tips of your fingers all the way down to the heel. One more time, inhale, come center, peaceful warrior, bring it all the way back. Exhale, bring it forward. Now feel free to go deeper. Place the fingertips on the ground as you reach your left arm to the front of your mat. Keeping your gaze down or looking upward towards the sky. Breathing deeply into that side body here. Awesome, you guys. Slowly, let's release. Bring the left hand back down. Pivoting the back heel so you're squaring off your hips into a high lunge and then taking your right arm up towards the sky. And if you found a good position here, you feel balanced and centered, feel free to close your eyes. It's always fun to reconnect with that internal awareness in different postures. Now let's just add movement with that top arm. So you're just going to let that arm come all the way behind you and then bring it forward and around for one and back. Two, breathe through the movement and back. Three, one more time. Great. Lower that arm. Drop the back knee. Let's push back half split. Ardha Hanuman. Pulling your right hip back, pushing the left hip forward. You can release the back toes if you wish. Breathe in deeply into the belly, and then as you exhale, just allow your body to relax. Not moving the body in any way, but we're holding in stillness, just working with the breath. So with each exhalation, thinking about how you can relax deeper and deeper into this posture. Feeling the release in your hamstring, calf. Inhale and exhale. Just stay with your breath. Great, one more inhale. Exhale, let's come back forward. Great. Tuck your toes under, lift the back knee. Both arms reach up to your high lunge, open up through the chest, through the body. Exhale, drop the hands back down, step back, plank position, take your chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, open up through the body. Exhale, push back, release into your downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Final downward dog of our practice. Pull those shoulders down away from the ears. Draw those shoulder blades downward. Roll the elbows down towards the floor. Keeping the elbows straight at the same time. Inhale. Exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Just come over to a seated position on your mat. And one more posture we're gonna do is called your butterfly heels together toes together grab onto the toes inhale lengthen through the crown of your head allow your knees to open 
exhale, dive your chest all the way down towards the toes. And just three more times like this. Inhale, we open, look up, and you grow tall. Exhale, down for two. Inhale, open. Exhale, down for three. One more time. Inhale, lengthen, open, and grow tall. Exhale, bleeding with your heart all the way down. Holding here for just a breath or two, maybe two. <laughs> and just allowing ourselves to release as the hips open out. Breathing into any tension you may feel in your hip joints today. Letting go. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Slowly come on up. Bring your knees together. Just extend your legs. And let's just take a second, releasing into our Shavasana. Giving the body a moment to relax. Opening the palms of your hands. Relax your legs. Just focus on the deep inhalation into the body. And as you exhale, give yourself permission to completely relax and surrender. Surrendering your body to the floor, to your mat, to Mother Earth. Letting go of any tension, relaxing every muscle in your body as you go deeper and deeper into this relaxation. Deep breath in and let it go. You did such a wonderful job today working and flowing with your body. Now it's time to give it a moment to completely relax and rejuvenate itself. To gift the act of full relaxation. Gathering taking in all the benefits, all the yoga postures that we did today. Just stay with your breath. And slowly and slowly, go deeper into your own stillness, to your own deep awareness of your heart, and of your inner energy. With each inhalation, welcoming positive, radiant energy into your body, into every cell of your being. Letting this energy fill you up with light, love, kindness, compassion, and joy. Feeling this energy radiating through your body, through your heart sending that energy outward out to all the people that you care about to your family your communities your friends out into the world around you being a beacon of light now feel free to stay in this blissful energy for as long as you like today don't need to come out when I come out. Stay as long as you need. However, if you wish to close it off with me, then add some movement to your fingers and toes. Deepen your breath a little bit more. And then bring your knees together and roll over to one side. And then come on up to your seated position on your mat. Just finding a nice grounded position, resting your hands on the knees and taking one last final deep inhale into your belly. And letting it go. Slowly bring your hands together in your Anjali Mudra in front of your heart and bowing down to your own heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful, amazing practice today. For taking the time out of your day and doing something good for your body, 
for your mind, and for your soul. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste. Namaste.